How you doing? Thanks for tuning in to Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety strobe lighting and equipment for cars, vans, buses, bicycles, even pickup trucks like this 2022 Chevy Silverado 3500 HD single cab. Real nice little truck. What you're looking at in the front here is our Lin 8. That's a dual color light. Selectable if you wanted only amber flash or only white flash. You could, or you can get a combination of both colors as we show here. That light also has a steady white flood override feature if you want it. It's mounted on our aluminum 90 degree bracket. Screws from the bottom up right underneath that Chevrolet logo. That way if you were to remove it, you just have a couple of screws on the bottom. Very hard to notice. We wired that right inside to the factory auxiliary switches. This truck got an uh, auxiliary switch kit installed also while it was here. They're provided to the truck from the dealer, but just because the buttons are on the dash doesn't mean the kit is wired. There's more to it than just the buttons on the dash. Now on the top of that back rack, we have our 16 inch Whalen mini LED bar. We mounted that with the supplied hardware with the bar, but we also used a quarter inch riv nut in the top of the back rack itself. We drilled two holes in the aluminum portion of the bottom of that bar, and we double stacked the rubber spacers that are included with the brackets underneath the bar and put the two quarter inch bolts down under the dome right into the back rack. I like mounting this light bar that way on these back racks because it doesn't stick up very high at all. Keeps it real low profile and uh, hugs down right tight to the back rack itself so there's less chance of any damage. Here you can see a little clearer how it's just sitting right there on them double stacked rubber spacers with the included hardware. Of course this truck got a toolbox and a fuel cell and the back rack and a fire extinguisher and some other good accessories as well. Around the back of the truck to complement what we did up front in the grill, we took advantage of the step pockets of the bumper, used our Lin 8, again in a flip-flop dual color pattern, same light we used up front, no mounting bracket needed. Now if you prefer, you could also put a hideaway in the reverse lights. You could check our DIY video out, we're going to link to that right now if you're curious about how to do that. But the Lin 8 down in the step pocket definitely works very well. As you can see, it throws the light all around the step, so it actually takes advantage of the whole area, bounces a lot of light around, and works pretty darn good. I like that location. We use it quite a bit. So, this is a pretty simple project. If you like it, you want to do the same thing, we're going to throw it in a bundle for you. If you got a back rack like this, awesome. If you need an Akari mount, you can also add the optional Akari mount if you want. I'm going to throw a link in for that in case you don't have a back rack. Um, and uh, we're going to keep this fairly simple. It's just going to be four Lin 8s, your two 90 degree brackets up front. We're going to give you 25 feet of 22-5. That'll extend those Lin 8s in the front into the cab of the truck and in the rear up to the driver's tail light. We're also going to give you 25 feet of 18-2. That'll go from the driver's tail light forward to your switches. And we're gonna give you 25 feet of 18-3. That's gonna extend the light bar wire for your power grounding pattern on your light bar to the auxiliary switches. Now, as I mentioned, this truck was using factory auxiliary switches. So that's what we did. We'll provide you all three sizes of heat shrink in an assortment, some quarter, eighth, and three sixteenths to make your install easier. And if you need switches, you can check them out in our switch category. And as uh, well, any other accessories you wanted to add, go for it. That's no problem. But uh, this is what we're going to put together for this particular package. So if you want to duplicate exactly this, go ahead and check out all the links for all of that and uh, purchase this bundle. But uh, there is some assembly required. You're going to be setting your own patterns. You're going to be making your wire connections. You're going to be mounting the light bar. So keep that in mind, but it will all hook up to your factory auxiliary switch, no problem. We even have auxiliary switch number two to adjust the pattern on the light bar. I don't suggest trying to adjust the pattern on all the four corner lights, because once to set the Lin 8s and you synchronize them, it's best to let them be. But the light bar itself, we gave him auxiliary two for a pattern adjustment. Thanks for tuning in to Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety, strobe lighting and equipment for cars, vans, buses, tricycles, bicycles, everything in between and 3500 HD Silverados. We'll catch you guys on the next video.